Hi, I'm at the allotment and I thought I'd give you a quick look around just to see what um, my plot looks like um, in the middle of February. So I'll turn you around and give you a walk around the plot. So I'll start off um, where I'm standing by the shed. I've got um, these little tubs of bulbs. I've got one that's started to sprout. The other is it. I don't know why, because they're planted at the same time. And then next to the shed here, I've got a big tub of mostly daffodils. And I've got one tiny little snowdrop. Look, really pleased to see that one out. Now this side needs a bit of TLC because I've been working on the new bit quite a bit. So, um, this bit has been slightly forgotten on a few of the beds, so they've uh, been filling up with the dreaded cooch grass. This one here still got a few turnips in, but they're um, very much the smallest ones left in there now, but still usable. Um, this one next to it is all garlic, and then at the very end there's a couple of different types of shallots just to fill up the space. This one was brassicas, but uh, the slugs and snails ate everything. <laughs> so they, it's mainly just cooch grass in there again now. And this one uh, is a similar state of affair, but there are a few bits. There's a few radishes left in here. A lot of dandelions by the look of it, and there's some more radishes just along the edge there. Sorry about my dirty hands, I have had my hands in the ground today. Um, I've just been um, spreading wood chip around as well because the, the plot's got quite muddy and slippy. So I've just put some wood chip down on the muddiest spots. And I just so I don't fall over really. And this patch that this is the field beans um, they pretty much got killed off with all the cold weather all the frosts and the little bit of snow that we had um, a few of them a few of them are sprouting but um, this was mainly down as a bit of a green manure really so I should imagine I'll just dig it all in and then um, That'll be that. I've put something else in there. Not sure what yet. Again, this is the, the bed of disappointing peas because I put lots and lots of peas in and a lot of them germinated, but I think something has come along and dug most of them up. So there's no peas really. There's a couple of stragglers. This bed here has got some little violas at the at the ends um, but it's mainly in this bed um, shallots these it's a whole bed of yellow moon shallots which are just starting to pop out now little bits of green here and there they're not all up yet but I shouldn't think it'll be too long now um, another empty bed that needs to be dealt with uh, I think we're gonna put some archways across these two beds so we can grow a few things vertically like beans this one was a brassica bed uh, it had a few herbs in it as well there's a couple of little kales just clinging on but again the slugs have pretty much decimated everything in there as they do Uh, fruit mainly in here, so we've got a gooseberry, it's a red type, and a rhubarb, and a few tulips just popping their heads out the ground at the end. Next to that, I've got another bed, there's a lot going on in here, including the dreaded pooch grass again. So we've got tulips in here, we've got some carrots that seem to be doing okay. I've got two more gooseberries, uh, they're red ones as well. And another rhubarb plant there. There are a few um, chard dotted around in there as well. 
and then we come up to there's uh, another little patch of field beans and these were planted a lot later and the frosts because they were much smaller plants the frosts and the snow didn't really seem to affect them too much so they are now starting to romp away really which is good a few of them have been dug up by something and I'm not sure whether it's something like a badger or fox or possibly a pheasant because I keep seeing a pheasant wandering around up here so it could be that this is my very sad flower bed that has been taken over pretty much by nettles, cooch grass and some random raspberries so this one is going to need really sorting out but a few of my flowers are popping up as well <laughs> so it's not all bad <laughs> and then compost area in the corner and then onto the new plot so this is how it's looking now I've got this first bed here full of flowers now look at these aren't they just amazing they're so beautiful I'm really sorry if there's a lot of wind noise um, it is just a really windy sight up here and I have got a microphone to start using soon so I will do as soon as I can now I've got Jerusalem artichokes in here um, the rest of it's not really edible apart from there's echinacea in here uh, that I could probably make a tea or something with but in here Jerusalem artichokes which we will use for food but mainly want them in the flower bed for the flowers because they give off these wonderful tall spikes of flowers with little sunflowery type flowers on them um, so that's what they're there for the rest of these stripes are empty I want to fill this up with more flowers um, dahlias lots of dahlias things like zinnias and you know get that full up this patch here is now covered over this is going to be our potato patch it's quite a good size because we really enjoy growing and um, it's something really fun Nancy absolutely loves digging up potatoes so it's really fun little thing for her to do as well plus we've had really good results with storing them so they, they do seem to last us a long time when we grow potatoes so this is going to be mostly a squash patch pumpkin patch along here but on this very edge um, we have got these posts in now Graham pop these in for me and we've put in the fruit trees that he got me for Valentine's so we've got a, a pear in there and a plum there and hopefully this week we'll put some wires across at some point and uh, just keep them a bit more stable and uh, we don't want them, the wind to knock them over so they'll be grown hopefully like um, a cordon type way and then at the very end the very first plant that went in on this new plot my red currant bush which is doing so well it's gorgeous love it it's just the most beautiful green I just love it it's, it's doing really well it's great it's been in less than a week and it is growing so well um, we've mulched uh, the red currant here um, and the trees with um, strolch mulch so it's really good like a fermented straw type stuff I've used it quite a lot in the past um, and it's, it's just brilliant, I love this stuff. It's great, it's not, it's not the cheapest mulch to use, but um, if you've got really bad cooch grass like me, it is a really good way of um, keeping it at bay. It, it doesn't stop it completely, but it, it does do a really good job at uh, holding it back. And then last but not least, I've got two little pots of, of bulbs, flowering bulbs that are just popping out now. 
I'm going to really enjoy all these little pops of colour that we're going to get as these bulbs come up. And then, I didn't show you this bit, did I? <laughs> Maybe because it's really ugly. When you get a new allotment, this is pretty much how it's going to look for a while. Not the best, not the nicest to look at, but it's reality and um, it's pretty much the same under that tarp over there really. It's just, you know, some of it's barer, some of it's weedy still. Um, we've tarped that corner just to sort of help kill it off really, just, you know, give us a bit of a head start, um, ready for when we're, we want to put potatoes in. This patch here, um, it's going to be, there's going to be things like beans, you know, any overflow really from, from my original plot here will just go on this patch. But yeah, this is how it looks. We're still pulling potatoes out of here from the, the guy that owned it before. Um, he only ever really planted potatoes on this, on this, um, part of the allotment. So yeah, we're still pulling them out and still pulling weeds out. But it's going to be a while before anything really is planted in here so we're not in too much of a rush really with this you know we'll just pick away at it as and when and possibly even cover it over like we have with the potato patch um yeah we're not in any rush we've got a few months sort of want it ready for the back end of april beginning of may you know so we'll we'll get there and then the last thing really that I want to show you, I forgot to show you when I was down here earlier, this is Nancy's, <laughs> I wasn't going to show you this, but this is Nancy's collection of random things. And um, yeah, on this back path we don't really use very much. And I've planted lots of spring bulbs in here as well, so just getting a few little purple crocus coming up dotted around i did put tulips in here as well but i can't really see any at the moment but hopefully it won't be too long but yeah i just love these dainty little beautiful spikes of purple that are popping up so yeah there we go it's um not particularly pretty on the allotment at this time of year but you know the 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 bones of the work have been done uh, there's going to be a lot of weeding to be done and it won't be long before all those spring bulbs start showing off and just showing out all that beautiful colour so yeah won't be long it's really exciting now so I'll leave it there and I can't wait to see you in the next video bye bye